So yeah, people have been been asking a lot of questions, but there have been a lot of a lot of talk around this thing. And uh, on the outside, the flower kettle, stainless steel head, with a dab surface up here. Like you can drop a dab here, and it has this uh, titanium carb cap that mm -hmm. it comes with. That's a cannabis hardware carb cap too. It's just standard. That, oh, is it? There. That's there. I'm pretty sure that's that's what he, he, it, it's from another company. And I thought he said cannabis hardware. So I mean, you can oh, get shit. that anywhere, So yeah. So the coil is in the midsection. This part up on top here threads off. It's coming. There we go. And inside there, full of balls. These are three millimeter sick balls. Has this is a heavy heavy motherfucking cap yeah stainless steel like most people out there making ball vapes are rolling with titanium and my boy comes out with the stainless steel thing man so it's a, it's a different take so it came with four millimeter zerk balls so these are ceramic right? zirconia balls yeah. okay and you've already replaced those with the sick apparently you know we got the injector and then unlike other injectors when you look straight up into it when you look straight up into this you cannot see the source of the heat until you get at an angle and then all of these little holes here are where the heat comes out so when you're in an injector bowl like like this the heat is way up in here in the coil and then you have this big stainless steel nipple buffering the intensity of the heat and then it hits the glass the air goes turns turns left again and goes into the herb so there's a, there's a whole lot of like thermal buffer. So when I swapped from the zirconium four millimeter yeah. to the three millimeter zirk or to the three, three millimeter sick, right on. I expected to see a big difference, but it wasn't really a big difference. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was kind of weird. <laughs> it was kind of, it was kind of weird. Yeah, whatever he's doing down bottom on the bottom half where he's diffusing everything, it's he's done it so much to it just doesn't matter what you do up top. Everything comes out the same homogenized whatever. And I don't even know if you have to have much in there at all. I mean, I literally think you could just dump anything you want in there. Nice. All right. So now now that this head is a part, you can show us the inside. So down down inside there, got see there's a little little pipe screen. Whoop. It's just one of these little guys. Yeah. And then it's empty. Now you had a uh, something in there when you got it, right? Yes. So with, along with these zirconium balls, there is a oh, hollow right. quartz pillar. Okay. So this little guy was down in there, down in there in the injector. I dumped it all out and didn't know what was up and thought that everything was above the screen, guys. It took me forever. That's hilarious that goes below the screen so yeah. yeah so with that with that there and balls above it when you inhale hard enough it spins around or rattles around hmm. uh, I, th I still think it, it it still deducts heat so it's, it's a it's a thermal buffer so right. i i took it the fuck out put it back together with just the screen and the sick balls uh didn't make a difference i thought that i was gonna have to lower the temperature because with the zerk balls I had to run the thing at like 700 degrees yeah. to get any sort of performance that I was looking for. Uh, so that's why I swapped the balls. So I thought, you know, swap the balls. That's going to make this thing run <clears throat> more in the neighborhood of, of the ball vapes that I'm typically used to. Yep. So you just put the screen in right now. You're about to put the balls in there. I think I'm going to put the uh, Zerk balls back in there now just because it didn't make a difference. Oh, right on. What about the rod? You gonna put that fucker in? No, I'm not putting that fucker back in. Mine is as it came with with both the white balls and the rod in there. I haven't really noticed anything like any noise or swirling or anything with the rod. Um, you got to really, really hit it hard. Yeah. yeah. To make that little quartz rod wiggle. You can also, you know, we talked about um, dabbing off the top of this. Uh, I'm not interested. I know some people are fine with that. It's very sublimator style. Like I forgot that one of the things that the sublimator did, remember the sublimator is the inspiration for those guys. Like if, if the sublimator has it, this this is going for it. Um, on top of it was this big hunk of metal 
with these inlet holes for the air to come in and swirl around and what 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 they told you is if you wanted to dab with it just take your dab and poke it on that inlet hole and it'll just get sucked right into everything with it and so that's what that's what people did and, I, and and so that was that we're talking a ways back man this 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 feels like it was 10 years ago it might have been eight years ago i don't and the sublimator doing its thing was a long time ago it had its own little controversy there the guy was talking about gasification and all kinds of weird shit and we're all just going bro it's just hot air man shut the fuck up and uh <laughs> so i forget his name too i don't know what it is but anyhow it was one of those fun times and uh but the but the vape is gorgeous the the, the rigs that they put together are amazing and i had i had one of the very first ones the one where it was the adapta bong or whatever you could just put it on any bong yeah and, the um, supplementer yeah one of the first models the ones that were about three or 350 bucks when they came out and you could put them on any bong and so like the, what's cool about what he's doing is and this is why i'm excited about when he gets that bottom piece that we'll talk about is that's what the submitter was it was a long metal bowl and down stem all one piece with a screen in it and you would put the head on there and the fucker you'd let it sit there until it got hot like i mean you'd, you'd wait for shit to stabilize and they had a little controller off to the side you could use and then you'd, you'd take the head off and you'd scoop your herb and chuck it in there and hope it hit the bottom and didn't so I hit the sides and instantly melt and get stuck and then throw the head on and then hit that fucker before it all just got, you know, all just, you lost every turp to, to anything. And it was a real fast ritual for me. It wasn't relaxing at all, but, um, but it was interesting. It definitely created a different signature. And it, it, it was, it was at a time when there, there were, there were very few heavy hitters. I mean, like the silver surfer was one of the, the heaviest hitters back then. And this thing came out and kind of, did something different with a bit hot big hot hunk of metal and uh anyhow our guy um jerry i love his name who uh who uh does this thing um it's his favorite vape and they're not they're not doing shit anymore so he's like fuck it man let's get to town so the balls are literally there by consequence we just needed to heat the fucker somehow and right now everybody's doing great with balls so why not just use balls so that's why the bottom is is still the way it is to kind of homogenize the heat source reliance out of the picture so yeah i think you can put whatever you want in there man you literally could probably throw anything that will get hot in that chamber and it'll still sublimator kind of thing because the, the sublimator what it did was the air came down and hit the sides like you showed that was what was special about or different about the sublimator but it was going into a metal bowl and like it may immediately fucking shit up so um so anyway he's going to come out with one of those right now we got glass bowls we got we got these glass bowls right here to go with and uh they're all a little different um this one is the deepest one and is the one that i use mostly troy because it's kind of like how i vape right it's like how i used to use my uh, herborizer it's how i use my ball vapes i like injector vapes i like i like to i like to see my injector go in there and, and stop a couple millimeters above the load and then i'm good to go and uh these two are too short for it motherfucker goes goes right on in and just hits 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 the bottom so i was like what what's this all about well sure shit. he does these videos all the time and um he's when he does a small load it goes right on there and because it 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 this doesn't get as hot it, it doesn't burn the weed it'll it'll brown it but it doesn't burn it so he's getting those massive hits off little loads by taking this head and plopping it right on the fucking herb sometimes urban concentrate so mm -hmm. you know and that's that's the best way to get it to perform in my opinion or like yeah. in all the ways that I've experienced mm -hmm. doing it and with the the shallow bowl where it almost bottoms out or that nipple like wedges itself right down into your your weed that's that's the most intense vapor that I can get out of this thing doing that what temperature did you like on the on the dial um, for that style for that one set like 700 690 okay because I've got mine at 700 right now and I wasn't sure. If, I thought I was at 750 for the injector style instead of just laying it right on the bed. Right on the bed is 700. Honestly, I just don't feel comfortable cranking it up that freaking high. You know, like and it's interesting. <laughs> he he designed it that way too. Like that way, he's like, yeah, you got to turn it way up. I'm I'm like, I don't turn anything that high up. Like that's that's taxing shit, right? Yeah, and it, it does take a while to heat up because it's stainless steel. Uh, yeah. So we we did a we did a, a little session with him and he he talked about it. We have a little clip that we can play here. 
Yeah, he'll explain it for you. Yeah, so uh, basically, um, I was lucky enough to get a sublimator kit. Um, he never came out with the rest of it. I was able to put the Orion head on that fire fired up. Um, you know, but I liked how uh, basically, you know, your herb um, wasn't getting roasted straight down. Every other injector head came straight down minus the um, herborizer. So the herborizer, I based the design off of also because uh, if you're familiar with that, you can see that it goes in the glass and it has little divots there. So your air is basically flowering off the tip kind of, you know what I mean? It's not per se going straight down on that load. When the heat, for me anyway, when it went down straight on the load, like I have the, um, the B1 as well, um, you know, with, with the screen there. So you would roast it. And then if you did another hit, you're re-roasting what you just roasted. So because of the, because it had an air was hitting it. Um, so with this design and the sublimator design, I like the hit that you can turn it up and to higher temperatures and you weren't, it, it was hitting the glass first. Like when you're sitting in a bowl now and you see the holes there, the gla the air's coming out, it's hitting against that glass first. So the hot air's hitting the glass, then it's hitting your load. So you're not per se, you know, you're not coming straight down and cooking it, recooking, recooking, recooking. Your glass heated air is hitting the load and that's where you get the better flavor from. You're not having a um, stainless steel screen per se or stainless steel head here just coming down right off stainless steel. So the bulbs inside, um, it doesn't really matter what you have in there. Rubies, uh, zirconia, sick. The sick I think gets a little hotter than the zirk. Um, but the Zerka, the four millimeter gives you a little more airflow on it. How much do we put in? Like, am I I'd say point, the... point 0.1, point 0.2. That's all. Just a little point 0.1, point 0.2. It works pretty good on full nugs too. You could slam a full nug in there and smash it down and then take a couple rips, flip it, take a, another couple rips and then break it down and then put it back in there. It works pretty cool. When you're all said and done, you put the head in there. It's sitting right on top of the herbs. Is it buried into the herbs? What's going on there? It's touching them all. I got only got like probably 1.1. 1 .1. It's sitting right on top pretty much. Yeah. So it's and conducting. the air is still going to hit the glass. It's not going straight into the herb, right? It's hitting your glass first. Yeah. It's still going to hit the glass first because of the draw speed. You know, if you want to do it slow, it'll build slow. I mean, you can rip it as hard as you want. So, you know, <laughs> I'm going to rip it. So here you go. All right. On. That's a big fat rip. <coughs> that was. <laughs> I ended up I ended up filling mine with about half sick and half zerk. Sweet. Uh, just because the the it was hard to scoop up the sick balls with my fingers. Plus plus it didn't make a huge difference, like he said, like it. See, see, this is where this is kind of where my vape inhalation preference conundrum comes in now. So, like, since I started vaping on the venti, that open airflow has changed my like the yep. way that I hit my ball vapes. Mm -hmm. Like when I'm hitting these these injectors, I I used to be like, you know, fucking Hoover the fuck out of it, and I would tune the temperature to run like that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm a little more casual with it. I'm a little more, you know, just a just riding it, just breathing, just inhaling. Nice. So now, now when I when I hit this, in order to get anything that resembles like a ball vape performance, you gotta like, you gotta fucking pull through it. Mm. And it's you know it's kind of it's not tight, tight, but it's not she not she not loose. It's not it's not like other ball vapes at all, like at all. I don't think it belongs in the ball vape category because it just, that's not what he was trying to do. He just uses balls to power it. And that just shows the, the versatility of the balls. I mean, that's just fucking great that you can even, hey, why don't we use that to power some totally different style? You know what I mean? Good like, point. He, I, uh, he wasn't, he wasn't uh, trying to build a ball vape. He was building what he likes off the, off the, from the sublimator. I can respect that. Yeah. I think he's done a great job on the head. He's in, I think he's made it better in some ways. If you wanted to dab on that fucking thing, this is way better to dab on than what the sublimator did, but people did it all the time. Um, so he's, he's made improvements on that shit. But for me, it's not complete yet. Like he's got these glass bowls that you can use and they are an experience, but 
guys at the beginning of next year he's, he he wants to have um he wants to release this heated bowl that he showed us troy and yeah, this dude. excites me this is a metal bowl similar to the sublimator bowl but instead of plopping the head on and making it you get an equalize the temp before you hit it for a while the bottom has its own pid and heater on it you can set two different tips and just throw it in and put it on and good to go and that that could really change things and still it's it's not a ball vape it'll be a sublimator so it's a different style it's a different signature i think he did a good job of running running with the signature on this it when i hit it it felt like oh yeah i remember the sublimator okay um, the sublimator had a signature that for me was very what i would describe back then as sativa i, I would hit that before i would go out somewhere because i'd be very uppy and chatty and aware and alert all kind of having fun um it rarely put me to sleep uh, but what it did do and i was literally i was one of only about three people i know that did this is you know, i've talked before about how you can get signature tolerance and get used to a vape and you need to get off it and start you know hitting something else uh the the sublimator was the vape that i had that happen the quickest i could hit that thing as my daily driver for a week and by then it didn't even get me high like i was like what the fuck i had to switch up vapes and so it was weird for me that way i was one of only a couple that i knew that did that so but that's why i remember it so much troy it isn't like i haven't hit it in a long time because i haven't had it but it's because of that i think he did a good job running with the sublimator concept and i think early next year if he does what he can the package will be complete and it'll be worth it but if you're out looking for a ball vape and you want a ball vape hit that's not what's going on here um is different and I'm, I'm ready to hit this sucker with on the bed style we're gonna go right on that shit i'm shocked that that doesn't burn anything now it, it did get kind <laughs> of uh so it got dark in there but that's not penalty dabbish now did you see it's even then it's a little light compared to what you usually get with your, your typical ball vape that just shoots straight out the bottom it's a different style altogether that's about what i got yeah nice there you go just crushing that fucker down and you can you can see the shape that the injector nipple tip left and even though it's you know connected it's not it's just not hot enough to like catch fire even though this thing is running at 715 720 right now and there's the fit on that right there okay now I, on the second hit I, I i felt like that's starting to get roasty bernie and uh that's what i've got afterwards there yeah so about the same as you troy we're getting the same results it's consistent if nothing else well now i'm going to turn the fucker up and go into bigger bowl mode uh, well this is the fastest extraction i can do with this device i actually don't like this experience with this bowl so i'm going to go back to the uh typical injector bowl yeah i'm going to the big ball that he sent this this way i can show you what this vape does as a ball vape like a just full inhalation full airflow what can these balls do yeah we'll see what they can do i'm gonna pack this one up here too so in the meantime hey troy i'm scared jerry there's nothing to be scared about it's the planet of the vape cyber week sale oh wow you can get an og mighty for 240 bucks and a volcano hybrid for 525 bucks the planet of the vapes the place you buy your vapes that's some funny shit, man yeah they're they're still doing their sale over there man so uh it's a good sale too we talked about it before a little bit so i won't go into it but they're still they're extended so keep keep going i'm gonna load a little bit more just to fill the bowl to uh the line that i would load with like the terp hammer or with the jane which is what i've been running lately this is what i got in the bowl Speaking of I, 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 tamped down. I tamped that shit down the injector is going to go to right about here i think uh probably probably right about right about there so i'll have space this time i uh using the in re regular injector bowl so there's the fitting plenty of space yeah me too i'm at seven, 720 my 720 760 760 all right yeah 
Cheers. It's terpy. Terpy enough to make me cough. Not a uh, super intense ball like roast. I don't have any burns or overdones. I mean, it definitely diffuses the shit out of whatever you throw at it. So I, I, I pulled as hard as I fucking could, and I hated every bit of it. Penny, throw your thoughts, big boy. I feel like I could probably hit it again, but I don't want to. Yeah. I feel the same way after three. Previously, with with this, I was getting five or six hits. Like I could, I could take five or six hits on the same bowl with this injector bowl. Yeah, to me, the the first thing it reminded me of was the herborizer. And I remember, I remember when I got that herborizer, and I didn't really get into it. You know, I wasn't really scratching my my balls the way I wanted it to. <laughs> and. Uh, because there, I was on I was on ball vapes at the time already. Remember, like I was on the SSV forty three or something like that. So the herborizer was was I, I had to crank it up to like seven fifty. <laughs> I remember that it, like to make it hit the way I wanted it, and it was pretty harsh when you when you crank it that hot. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, so that's this is a different experience. It's a great experience, especially for for being efficient with your weed. Those slower vapes will almost get you. A little higher like a different type of different different level of, of high whereas the ball vapes deliver like a super intense like massive level of extraction it's almost just like a different way of, of graphing the high like the ball vape has like a higher peak but maybe a shorter shorter ride out and some of those longer session vapes have a lower peak but a longer plateau yeah, the ball vapes will just chew through your weed immediately and give you everything. Whereas a session vape, like like you said, the herborizer or even something like this, the way I'm using it, um, you can kind of draw the line and really, like you said, be even more efficient. Like you could take this weed, hit it in the morning or the or the you know the midday, take two or three hits with the stirs in between, set the bowl aside, come back at night, hit the same bowl. And it's not like other vapes that they kind of overcook it in the process. You really can like cap what you get out of it and have something substantial in the evening to put you to sleep or something. So um, I, I kind of like that whole dance. I think that at some point I mentioned this in a meeting with somebody the other day, I was like, we're nowhere near this point in time right now, but the pendulum will swing back at some point and we're going to find that happy medium between that really long session and that really fast extraction where's where's the sweet spot for people to really enjoy the dance and get punched in the face at the end of the song you know what i mean <laughs> have you tried to whole nugging that thing man you're like the king of whole nugs you're watching me do it now oh really shit i must have been high <laughs> my bad. i literally just told you this is my next i just flipped the nugget and i'm going in really damn it i mean you were high i love it dude uh, it's funny. Um, yeah, this isn't like a, a company or a vape manufacturer. This is just a dude on a combustion who has been around a long time and tried a boatload of vapes and has his faves and now has to make his fave and is, is chasing that. Right now, I think he needs that bowl that, that he's coming out with next month to complete the package. But I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that. But just keep that in mind, like that this is not somebody who's trying to like sell a million of these. He's just, well, I could make one or five. And he's gonna charge me the same for all of them, and I'd like to know what somebody thinks. So let's let's see, you know. And 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 it's not in its finished state. So don't don't think you're buying from a company here. You're buying from from a from somebody like you, quite frankly. So anyhow, that's all I would like to say there. See you next Friday and roll the bean footage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Peace out. Yeah. Click the button.